Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Star Flames. So guys, in this video, we're going to talk about a blind item that is about Jay-Z and Miss Foxy Brown. Now guys, as you all know, Jay-Z is considered a A-list rapper and it is often rumored that Jay-Z back in the day was involved in a lot of things during his early stages of his career. Since then, many people believe that Jay-Z has changed from that path. However, they're saying that Jay-Z has the things from his past that he's paying off people to stay quiet about. But I find that to be a bit weird and out of Jay-Z forte, if you understand and know what I mean. Now, we're going to get into this blind item. It's about Jay-Z keep paying Foxy Brown to keep silent. Now, I've seen Foxy Brown speaking out about this saying that it's a lie, everyone wants her to be, you know, anti-health so badly. But let's, still yet, we're going to talk about it, right? Because I believe that, you know, whether we believe this or not, at the end of the day, everything that's hidden in the darkness will eventually come to light. So let's get into it. Now, the blind item is saying, Almost like clockwork, for nearly two decades, this one imprisoned female rapper who has a name that was a super relative back in the day uses subtle, subtlety to get her annual check. I have written about it in this space since the blog started. It is an annual payoff from the permanent A-list rapper to stay quiet. She has upped her game this year, though, because she knows there is a lot of money to be made. Everyone knows she has a story. Usually, her threats are empty because no one is paying her but the rapper. This year is different, though. She could very well end up dead if she goes far, though. Foxy Brown and Jay-Z. Now, guys, that's the end of the blind item. Now, they're saying that Foxy Brown's threats are normally empty. But if that's the case, it would counteract the point of Jay-Z paying her to keep quiet. Because if her threats are empty, no one is going to pay someone who they know is filled with empty threats to keep quiet. So it's given the sense that, you know, <laughs> this could be very much as Fox Brown says, not true. But there's another thing that we all know. Normally, in the celebrity scope, we hear a lot of rumors. When the allegations of the Illuminati started and who is involved, who wasn't involved, we believe that it was far-fetched. For many of us, like we could not see the connection. However, since then, a lot of people like Sloan Bella, she came out and she started explaining how these people manipulate energy through the music and the rituals and practices, the cult that these people are involved in. So from there, we were able, you know, she gave us the lead. Many people understood, but there were some of us because we want to be honest and fair. We don't want to just be blasting people and saying you're this, you're that without any thread of evidence or any leads. So when Sloan Bella started showing us the connection, and especially when she did that Kim Porter video, it solidified most things that have been circulating in the celebrity, you know, news, blog, posts, and all of that. So since then, we started going back to look at all the allegations. What did we ignore? What did we miss? What could have been potentially be be factual. What connects with who? So since then, a lot of people started opening their eyes, paying close attention, and we are now able to cipher into these things. We've seen where a lot of things that we thought was once a lie was factual, and it was very deeper than what we initially thought. So what I'm saying is that based on everything that the, the industry has tricked us about based of, based on everything that has now been revealed, everything that is coming to light. I love Foxy. I love this girl as though I know her. I know connections to her, but I don't personally know her, but I love her. I love her, you know, personality. I even love that sassy ratchetness about her. I love the classy gimmicky portions of her. I just love this girl. But at the same time, I'm a bit concern for her because 
you know that if you've been collecting money from someone for over a number of years to keep quiet, at some point in time, that individual is going to want you to go away, if you guys know what I mean. And already in these streets, Jay-Z has a reputation. He, you know, he's known for letting people go away. He told us that Jay-Z has his shooters, and he asked Jay-Z not to send his shooters after him. They've been wanting to take away since that, you know. But you guys, you know, when he says this thing, people think that he's just crazy and wild. No, he's not. So. My point is, Foxy is loyal to Jay-Z. But for me, Jay-Z loyalty starts within his family and it ends right there. I believe that he has people that he does nefarious business deals and practices with. Because if you look at how him and his wife manipulates the media, those are nefarious, you know, practices. So my point is, I don't think Foxy Brown is safe if she has any secret for that man. It just might be a matter of time when he thinks that we're not looking, you know, to do a number on this girl. But from what we've heard, even from you, if you look at Jay-Z and his relationship, you know that Jay-Z is not someone that you can be, trust because Jay-Z and his wife, Yuzie, they basically used his uh, shoulder. People say that, oh, Jay-Z helped Ye, and if it wasn't Jay-Z, you know, Ye wouldn't be what it is he, he is today. But you guys have to also equally look into the fact how instrumental Ye was for Jay-Z. So... Ye actually, so you know how when Ye stepped into the industry, many people thought that his, you know, ideas were crazy, but the ideas turned out to be just a genius. JB Fox gave a recollection of, um, you know, a song that Ye wrote for him that is one of his most, most outstanding song. Um, Jamie Fox thought that it was highly ridiculous. The song sounded ridiculous. But when Jay, but when Jamie Fox, not Jay Z, went back to the studio, they polished it and everything. Jamie Fox was wowed. He could not believe that was the song that he heard Kanye singing sounding silly. And he told him, just be patient with me. Just, just hear me out. So the point is, Ye has been very instrumental to Jay-Z and his wife. Wendy told us that Jay-Z and his wife used Ye, and we can see it. We don't even need anyone to tell us that Jay-Z and Beyonce used Kanye, okay? And after that, they treated him like cheap shit. <laughs> Excuse my language. And then if Ye didn't say out loudly, Jay-Z has a shooter, you best believe they would have taken out Ye. So knowing his history, Knowing his history, seeing that he is slow to his actions, but he actually gets it done. I don't think this girl is safe. She might think she's safe. You know, she might think that they're all good, but I don't think she is. And I do hope that she wise up. And, you know, sometimes you have to smile in the face of your enemies, but watch your back as soon as your back is turned to them. I hope she's doing that. And I hope she still has her connections who will still keep an eye out for her. And if she still has those connections, I think she's going to be safe. If she still has those people in her circle, I think that, you know, Jay-Z would know that if you come for her, if anything happens to her, it's going to be problems. So I do hope that Foxy is safe. I wish her all the best, honestly, because Jay-Z just cannot be trusted. That man is... I'm not going to say, but he just cannot be trusted. But that's all I have to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what are your thoughts about this blind item. You know, as I've always said, blind items sometimes <laughs> are not true, but we've seen where a lot of them have been correct. Now, with this particular blind item, Foxy Brown came out to tell us that she's not being paid off. But, you know, if she's being paid off, she cannot tell us that. She is being paid off for a fact. She cannot do that. So I want to hear from you guys. And remember to thumbs up. Stay safe. See you guys later. Bye, guys.